Hey, Wasabi, Operation iDroid here, and today I'm going to be starting a new series where I show you how to get specific games on PSX for all. These games are taken by request, so if you'd like to request a game, leave it in the comment section below. And today's episode is How to Get Monster Ranch 2 on PSX for all. started all right so first off we are going to need psx for all so if you don't have that there will be an annotation on the screen so that you can go get that okay so next we're going to go to safari and this is how we're going to get the actual rom of monster rancher 2 so we're going to go on cool rom dot com and it'll send you straight to their mobile website and i find their mobile website much better to um to search on because it's it's very clean the GUI is great and it's very direct to the point here I just click on ROM files ROM files and then it'll open all the systems that you could get ROMs on I'll just scroll down to Sony PlayStation it's gonna load it take some time depending on your Wi-Fi speed and then I could browse by letter top 25 download or top 25 rated but I am in a browse by letter Go to the M. It's gonna load, and there we go. The M's now. I'm just gonna scroll the ah, freak. Oh, I thought I clicked on that by by accident. So now I'm gonna scroll down. Come on, baby, where are you? Are? Where are you? Let's go up a little bit. Monster Rancher Two. So then I'm gonna click on that. gonna load it loading 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 all right and boom there it is monster rancher 2 and now uh, look as you can see there's a couple of screenshots it tells you the file size not a very big file so it's only gonna take 15 to 30 minutes and you know you're gonna be downloading it because first of all the um, URL will change and that little blue line is actually the download ROM speed so as you can see, it's slowly moving there, and then that's how you know that it's downloading it. So I'll be right back when that's done. So it finished. It took approximately, I mean, around 15 minutes. So that's pretty good. But um, once it finishes downloading, you'll get a screen like this, and then you're going to click Open an iFile. Now I'm going to be honest, this takes like a good two minutes for, it, for iFile to load and open, and it'll just stay here like if it didn't respond to your click. But it really did, so just give it two minutes before clicking it again. Oh, there it goes. That was pretty fast. All right, so then when you when it opens, it'll ask you to look at it in a zip viewer. You click zip viewer, zip viewer, and it will load the contents. Um, this only takes like two to five minutes, but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll be back when this is done. So that didn't take too long, approximately two minutes, I think. But um, as you can see, we have three files here, and the only one we want is the .bin file. So I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to extract it. So you click on that, it gives a little check mark, and then you click on this little blue box down here. Oh, shiza, did not mean to do that. Then you click on this little box with the arrow down here. It will unpack the file, and this also takes like two minutes, so I'll be back when it's done. It won't give you any notification that it finished unpacking it, extracting it, I mean, besides that the prompt will fade away. So once the prompt fades away, you know that it did its job. So you click done. And then it'll load here. And boom, there's our file. Monster Rancher 2.bin. So now we have to copy that to the correct location where the PSX for all app is. So we're going to copy it. As you can see how I did it there, I clicked edit, clicked on the little circle next to it, it'll check mark it. On the bottom right, I click the kip, clipboard, and then on the top, I click copy. Done. And I'm going to go back to VAR Mobile, click on media, scroll down, ROMs, PSX, and then this is where I'm going to copy my file. So I'm going to click edit, once again, click on the clipboard, and now paste. This should only take about... A minute but I'll be back when it's done done copying and once again there's no 
notification that it copied it just besides the prompt fading away so once that's done well besides that now I can see Monster Rancher 2 is right there so I'm gonna click done and now I have Monster Rancher 2 dot bin in I file okay so let's go back and now let's go into the PSX for all application make sure to kill it um, after you use iFile to kill the application just open your multitasking bar and click on the little red dot now I'm gonna click PSX for all and now as you can see Monster Rancher 2 dot bin is right here so when I click on it it's gonna play the game so I put portrait and no sound so you guys can see it and here we go classic PlayStation boot logo and let's wait for the other one here and there it is alright but um since I'm recording this it looks a little laggy but I guarantee you guys it's not as laggy as it looks it actually runs very smooth to be honest um, this game's pretty good and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching guys and here's a couple of videos you might want to check out. On the top I have Final Fantasy 7 on your iDevice so just click on that if you want to get Final Fantasy 7 on PSX for all. Under that I have how to get ROMs on PSX for all which is just a general video showing you how to get ROMs. And um, if you guys enjoyed this video and would like to get future updates make sure to subscribe and if you liked it click on the like button. below. Thanks and see you next time.